All right guys, so you just got Audible. What now? Sam, I'm seeing all this stuff. What do I do? How do I listen to the audiobooks? Where and how do I buy them? This is so confusing and I need a little bit of clarity. I've been an Audible listener for four or five years now and it has changed my life more than just about anything I can name. Seeing as my video about the Audible options this year is getting more attention than most of my others so far, it's probably not a bad idea, I figured, to give an introduction to the app for anybody who decides to move forward with it but isn't sure where to go from here. So in this video I'm going to do a little bit of demystification, make it less of a burden and more of an asset, and help you get back to enjoying your commutes, long road trips, lunch breaks, and whatever opportunities you take to listen to your favorite audiobooks. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I want to make self-growth normal because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. Let's start with home. They say that when a man-made product is incredibly simple, that's a telltale sign that a boatload of work went into it. I don't actually think that's the saying. I think it's something along those lines. Anyway, that's Audible, because when you go to the bottom of the app, you're only gonna see four different screens you can go to. Home, Library, Discover, and Profile, and that's what we're gonna go over here. I looked it up, by the way, and this is the same layout on Androids. It's not just iPhone. When you're home, it'll say good morning, slash afternoon, slash evening, Samuel. Unless your name isn't Samuel, then it, you know what I mean. You have X amount of credits. If you have two credits, you can spend them on any two books. That's what a credit is. For more information on credits, I'm gonna do a video soon. I'm gonna to try to link it in the description about how to make more out of your membership with Audible and just tips of how to make the most of your money on Audible. But scrolling down the home screen, it's really just like a series of different books. Some you have, most of which you don't. Like at the top you'll see what you've most recently listened to and you can listen to it from where you left off. Below this you'll see recommendations based on a book that you've recently finished. Then you'll see a bunch of what ran, what looks like random Audible original series. I don't know what in the Audible algorithm determines which ones are seen on your screen, but they're there. Below this you'll see your wish list, and hopefully it's not like mine and over a hundred books long. Below this you'll see recommendations in what I'm assuming is a is like a favorite niche of yours. On this channel, we do many, many book reviews of stuff in self-development, business, and technology. So here we have some, I think business, it's gonna be. It's gonna be one of those. Then there are bestsellers, and you can find this on Audible, but it does update pretty consistently. Some books stay on here for like 10 million years. There are actually audiobooks that came out like 15 years that are still at the top of the bestsellers list. Below bestsellers is more lists like more of what you like, hand-picked gems just for you because you listened to X book, popular listens, and curated content that you might enjoy. Obviously below recently listened to and wish lists, it's basically just a bunch of recommended content. Some of which is podcasts and some something I like about this is that some of it it'll actually specify is included in your membership. Next we have library and library is where all the fun is because that's what you listen to and they organize it too. At the top of the screen you can scroll through audiobooks, podcasts, wish list, collections, authors, and genres. You can look at all the titles or you can filter it by whether you have or haven't started it yet. Whether it's downloaded or finished, it tells you how many books you have, you can scroll through them. I can't believe I have over 350, that's crazy. Select certain ones to add to a collection or remove, the control of playing or downloading whatever's there, or those three dots which allow you to view author title and details, share, mark as unfinished, rate and review, and more. Again, this one's my favorite because this is where all of your audio audiobooks are. Next we have Discover. Discover allows you to search different genres and find audiobooks of interest. This is something that I personally never use, but maybe you would like it because they have fantasy, science fiction, mysteries and thrillers, fiction, self-dev, Okay, there is no genre I know better than self-development and I have never heard anyone ever call it self-dev. Reminds me of biz dev. Also history, and they cover trending topics like NFL, voices and comedy, comics and superheroes, and classic Hollywood. Most of these I'm not crazy about. In fact, I have basically close to no interest in them. But to me, the best thing about Audible 
is just their diversity of topics because there's just something for everyone. There are a lot of people who live, love, breathe, bleed, eat, sleep, and poop NFL. Also stuff like what's included in your membership, editors picks with collections, but at the bottom is where it's just categories and no pictures. But regardless, that's Discover. Lastly is Profile. This is, you know, your standard profile stating how long you've been a member, which membership you're subscribed to and what's included in it, a concierge, and what I like to look at every once in a blue moon, the achievements. How long you've listened every day, month, year, and in total. Listening level, which I, I don't know what that means. A badge collection. There are all these like little badges with cute little corresponding rhymes and they all indicate what you need to do to get them. It's just, it's cute. It's a cute little fun thing, you know? And lastly, customer support, which I'm pretty sure is the same thing as concierge, but that's Audible. That's a basic idea of what you're looking at when you look at the Audible app. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything I was missing. How long have you guys been using the Audible app? Do you like it so far? Do you hate it? Let me know why in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure sure to give it a big thumbs up because that gives me an idea that this is the type of content that you guys want to watch. In the last maybe month or two, before that, I literally did nothing whatsoever but just book reviews. And those did not get nearly as many views as these. Which is kind of sad because it takes me way, way longer to do a book review than these. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already because I don't get why people watch this far into these videos and they don't subscribe. But if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification whenever I drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.